Hello everyone, this is DA from e Academy, and today this video is about annihilator in functional analysis. So, heading toward its definition. Before talking about its definition, let's talk about Hilbert space. So, a Hilbert space is a complete inner product space. And what about a complete space? So, simply if we have a Cauchy sequence in the space, or so we can say that every Cauchy sequence that converges to a point in that space must converge to a point that is in that space. So, a Cauchy sequence, every Cauchy sequence that converges inside the space is a complete space. So, a Hilbert space is a complete inner product space. Now we can talk about annihilator in the functional analysis. So its definition is if H is a Hilbert space and we're going to take a subset of the Hilbert space and we name them A. So we have a Hilbert space and a subset of that Hilbert space we have X. So if we take an element X from the Hilbert space, so X is in H for any element from the Hilbert space. So X can be in A. There is no restriction on X. So here, X is in H. For any X or for any element of the Hilbert space, we say that this X is orthogonal to A if X is orthogonal to every element of A. That X is orthogonal to A if x is orthogonal to every element of of a so this is what when we say that any element is orthogonal to the subset of the hilbert space so this is the condition that is necessary and sufficient as well so we can also say that because it's a hilbert space we can say that the norm of this is equal to zero for all y belongs to a for all of the elements that are taken from a the norm must be equal to zero then we can say that eventually x and the sub subset a is orthogonal to each other so now we are going to talk about all of the elements of of the hilbert space that have this property or the set of all of the vectors because h is a hilbert space and x is a vector in this because x is a, is a member of h and x is a vector by definition. So the set of all of the vectors which are orthogonal to A that satisfy this property is called an high letter of A and we, is, we can denote it by this sign A and high letter and this set contains all of the vectors that are perpendicular to the set A or the subset A. So we can write the set as elements from the Hilbert space or the vectors from the Hilbert space where the vectors are perpendicular to A that says for this property. So this set is called the annihilator of A. Because there is no restriction on X that it can be from A or from outside of A because X should be from H. So the annihilator of A can be represented here as as this set that can be that can be intersected with this A set. So this is the annihilator in the functional analysis. Because we only define the annihilator for this Hilbert space. So again, if we have a Hilbert space and we have a subset A, or that is a subset of uh, Hilbert space A. So for any vector, or for, we can say that for any element of that Hilbert space, we say that the vector is orthogonal to that subset if this property is satisfied that X with every element of A, the norm is equal to zero. So the set of all of the vectors which are orthogonal to A is called the annihilator of N. That is written here. And we can represent it by this sign A and the perpendicular sign on this. So we can also say that there is also a possibility of annihilator of annihilator. When we can represent this by this is A annihilator and then annihilator. So this is simply a double annihilator. So we mean this is what the annihilator of a annihilator and in the next video we will talk about the properties of the annihilator uh, if you're looking for more such videos then you can subscribe this channel in order to watch more upcoming videos we will meet in the next video till then take care goodbye